What's up, Internet? Dom Kirby here again with some more FIDO content. If you can't tell, I'm a total nerd for FIDO-based two-factor and authentication. Anyways, today we're going to do the same concept with the personal account. Remember last time we used Microsoft account? I wanted to show you how to do it with a Google account. It's possible on all kinds of accounts, whether it's Google, Facebook, etc. There's a bunch of them out there that support this. We need the same key, FAT and K40. Same story as always, Google Titan. Whatever key you got, it's going to do the job. Let's go ahead and set up Fido on my test Google account and see how it goes. All right, so here we are in a standard personal Google account. All right, it's called Dom Kirby's Demo because it's a demo account. But uh, let's dive right in. So this is my account.google.com. Same place you're going to change your password or do any other account management tasks. And we're going to come to security. All right. Now, this video happened to be a double take. So you'll see I turned 2SV on and off, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and scroll down right here to two-step verification. All right. So we'll click on two-step verification. And it's going to walk us through some steps to get set up here. So we'll go ahead and click get started. Now, by default, Google's going to want you to use a phone number. I'm not a big fan of phone-based authentication. Things can happen. Uh, but it is better than nothing if that's the only choice you've got. So we'll hit show more options, and we'll come to security key here. And it's going to want me to have my security key ready naturally. And it's going to discuss what we're doing here with the key as normal. Hit OK. It's going to touch my security key. Now, this particular implementation of, of U2F does not need a PIN, and that has to do with the fact that Google doesn't allow passwordless sign-on or sign-on exclusively with FIDO just yet. Uh, hopefully, it's coming, but in this scenario, I still need to enter my password, which we'll see in a moment, and then I use that security key as a second factor of authentication, right? So it's, it's okay that it doesn't require a PIN because I've still entered something I know in the sign-on process. So like always, we'll give it a name. And the importance of giving it a name is so that if, when you have multiple security keys, which hopefully you do for backup purposes, um, you give them different names. So if you lose one, you know which one to come in and revoke, right? So we'll go ahead and hit done, and that's it. Security key's added. There's just not much to it, right? Now I've turned two-step verification on with my security key, uh, easy peasy. So let's go ahead and sign in to this Google account. So this one's going to look a little different than the Microsoft demos because I am going to have to sign on with a username and password. So I'm going to go into my Ninja window here and I am going to grab my demo account like so. Paste that in. Paste in my super secure password here. And you can see it pops right up and says, hey, you're going to need to do your security key. So I'll go ahead and touch it, prove to it that I'm here. That's it. I'm signed in. So now I've used the FIDO key as my second level of authentication. Go ahead, do this on your Google account if you've got a security key to spare. Um, again, there's some links down below to grab yourself some security keys uh, from brands that I've tested and support. Um, but any FIDO compliant security key is going to get the job done. Give it a shot. Let me know how it goes in the comments. We'll see you on the next one.